All right, we're going to look at a coordinate grid, and we have a table here that we're going to use to find the points to plot on the grid. So on the first one, since we've got the equation y equals x plus y, what we're going to do is we're going to replace x, and that's going to give us the y. So they've already done 0 plus 1, and they've got 1. So we're going to do 1 plus 1, which gives us 2 for y. And then 2 plus 1, that gives us 3. And then I've got 3 plus 1, which will give us 4. And then 4 plus 1 gives us 5 for y. All right, and then we're going to write them as ordered pairs. So I've got 1, comma, 2. Remember, I write them in parentheses with a comma in between x and y. And I've got 2, 3, and then 3, 4, and then 4, and 5. And so now I'm going to plot these points. And they've already done 0, 1. So they went over 0 and up to 1. Remember, we always go over and then up. So 1, 2, we go over 1, up to 2. And then we go over 2, up 3. Then over 3, and up 4. And then over 4, and up 5. So you can tell if we connected these points, we would have an upward trend. So we're going to look at another example, and this time they give us the information, but they want us to plot it in a table form. So it says organize the following data from a fundraiser into a table and then plot it on the coordinate grid. What trend do you notice from the data? So this will help us notice a trend. So I'm just going to divide it into weeks and then the money raised. So week one, they raise $5. Week two, $12. Week three, 20. And then we've got week four, $24. Five was $16. And then week six, we've got $6. So now I'm gonna go and the weeks I'm going to use as my X, and then the money is gonna be on the Y axis. So for the first one, we've got one five, so I go over one up to five, and then two twelve, so over two and up to twelve, and then over three up to twenty. You know, so, so far we can see an upward trend, but then we get to week four and it's still going up, up to 24. But then week five, we go over five and it goes down to 16. And then week six, it goes down even more. It goes down to just six. So as you can see, it, the trend was going up, but then by week five, it started going down. So you're going to see some problems like this. I want you to, you know, do the same thing. You'll plot the points and then notice the trend in the data.